Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my crap. Oh, and today I'm gonna be seeing how many life hacks I can do in one hour. Let's do this. Yes, a perfect life hack. So the first thing about this one is the pencil cannot be sharp. And I made it unsharpened earlier. So then, oh god, it's not open. I should have opened this nail file. Tools, tools, I need tools. Dart should do nicely. Okay, now I have to quickly sharpen my pencil. Ah! Oh no, it keeps dulling itself. I have to do it more sideways. Oh, my arm is so tired at this point, guys. Okay, is this usable? Oh god, it works! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! It only took about uh, five minutes. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, I think most of the time for this one is gonna be me waiting for the hot glue to dry. Um, so, you know, we just go in and just fill this eraser with hot glue so that we can replace the old eraser, you see. We don't need this dumb old useful eraser that can erase my mistakes on paper, but not the ones that I've made in my life. <sighs> Man, I have so many regrets. Okay, so I actually have to spin it so that the glue doesn't fall off the pencil. I broke it out my fan. Oh! Cool off, cool off. I need something to put this in. Um, um, uh. I think this tape might do. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Yes. No. Oh, it's stuck to the fan. Okay, pause on this one. I'm gonna go work on the next one. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're almost about 10 minutes in. I'm making good time. I'm at about one and a half. Uh, we're gonna make it two, cause this time we're making a compass. I think this is a compass, right? We're making a compass out of two pencils. We're gonna make perfect circles with our pencils. Oh God. So we just take our rubber bands and just put them around our pencils. Keep them the same size. Here we go, you ready for a perfect circle? I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay, you ready? Stick this one right in the middle. Here we go. I just have to say, this is definitely not a perfect circle. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I think it needs more rubber bands. Okay, ready? We're gonna try it again. Oh my gosh. It does not like this. Oh, I got it. I'll twist the paper. Yes! Uh, now that is how you make a perfect circle. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna say that this one kind of works. On to the next one. So for this one, I'm actually gonna need this pencil to be a little bit shorter. Break out the trusty axe. There we go. Oh no! Okay, I'll try this again. One, two, and. Okay, one more time. I'm just hoping I get a clean break. One, two, and. Yes, I did it! Tiny pencil! So once we've acquired our tiny pencil, I'm gonna have to sharpen it. Okay, cool, good enough. Then I just go and roll this pencil right up. I think I have to ironically use another pencil. So I'm using the broken end to roll it up to help it stay kind of consistent. Get our glue. I'm using hot glue for the sake of the craft. So I'm just gonna cut all the extra off. There we go. Shove this bad boy in there. Oh wait, I gotta put hot glue in this bad boy. And shove our short pencil in there. Okay, now I'm gonna let this uh, cool down for a second. And then we're gonna check up on our other hot glue project. Oh yes, this is the perfect shape. Exactly how I left it. <laughs> okay, let's test it out. Hello. Wait, I wanted to say goodbye. Oh no, okay, let's see if I can erase this. What a mistake. You ready? Oh no. No! I'm gonna look so dumb now, everyone's gonna think I'm saying hello instead of goodbye. No! Come on. If only I'd used my perfectly good eraser underneath instead of ruining this one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. On to the next one. Okay, this one I don't think is gonna take five minutes. In fact, I feel like it's gonna take a little bit uh, longer than that, probably 20 minutes. Um, So I'm hoping, oh man, I need bigger markers. If I use these little markers, it's gonna take me all day. But if I use these bad boys, Take me two minutes. So here we go, guys. I'm just gonna go in and put my random colors. We got some blues. Ooh, I could do some stripes. I like these stripey ideas. Oh, yes. Some good old fashioned. 
description stripes. Some blue stripes? I don't know how much of this you're really gonna see. They didn't say to put a primer coat over this, so I'm just not going to. But it would make this look a lot better. Oh god, this yellow is not turning out nice. <laughs> Maybe the red? The red is turning out okay, I guess. Well, might as well keep the theme going. I feel like this green might lighten it up a little but bit. But this rainbow in completely the wrong order. Anyway, we have a decorated notebook. Now we're gonna get this tape. Oh God, this is the worst part. There we go. And just putting it right over it. Then we grab our paint. This is a premium chalky paint. So it's gonna have a nice chalky finish that I'm sure will just kind of scratch off really nicely. And we're kind of in a rush here, so I'm using the big brush. Just, uh, you know, no need to have a little palette. We're only doing one color, so just uh, really squirt all of it on and then just paint it nice and consistent. Actually, I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. That was very efficient. I'm glad I used the big brush. And now I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and on to the next craft. Okay guys, we have about half the time remaining. So, here we go. Grab two of our paper clips, put them together. This one in the middle. I don't know if I really need two, but wow. Actually, this is kind of working well. There we go. Wow, and we got a perfect circle. Guess we can say that this one works. Next one, back to this bad boy. Uh, let's see if our pencil works. Here we go, a nice piece of red, red on red action. Okay, here we go, you ready? It instantly broke. Oh no. I can't even sharpen it because the paper's in the way. Oh, oh my god. Okay. For the sake of this, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Wouldn't recommend it. Just get yourself a new pencil. Honestly. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I don't know. Stop wasting our time with this. Okay guys, hack number six, seven. I don't remember what hack we're on. So I just gotta get the sponge, cut a little piece of it. There we go. Oh, no, I lost it. It fell behind my desk. Okay, just cut a new one. Let me grab our hot glue guy. Put it right on the edge of that. Oh, actually, I have a better idea. Take that off. We're gonna put it on the cap. You know why? Oh, you'll see in a second. Just, you know, stick that right on the tip. Ironically enough, we actually have to wait for this one to dry, but I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. Ain't nobody got time for that? Break out our dry erase board. You guys ready to see why I put it on the cap? A boobity boo. There we go, yes! Okay, oh, the pen still works perfectly. That's awesome. But does it erase? It's erasing! What? I am flabbergasted. That is amazing. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. On to the next one. Okay guys, time is ticking away. So I'm gonna go ahead and write some algorithms here. Wait, three plus two doesn't equal seven? Oh no, I should have learned. It's okay, we'll start over. Uh, five plus two equals seven. Oh, my handwriting is atrocious. Three plus five equals eight. Uh, two plus two equals uh, four. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little photo. Now we go into our gallery. Perfect. Now we're gonna flip it over with the phone unlocked. There we go. Oh, don't mind me. This is just the back of my phone. Let's see, can I scroll to it? Oh God, where did it go? This is so weird, it looks like paper. This is so, oh, where did it go? Oh my gosh. Oh, it just opened my camera. This one so far, kind of impractical, guys. Okay, we'll try this again. You ready? Carefully. So here we go. We got five plus two equals seven. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, this saved me. I would never have known. Okay, next, three plus five equals eight. Oh my gosh, guys. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. It looks a little bit sketchy, but I mean, if you put it like this, no one's ever gonna tell. I mean, maybe. I don't know, it kind of works. Off to the next one. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna use a very special coin. I bought this from a channel called Crash Course. It's a really good channel, I like it a lot, and they were selling coins where if you bought one, they would donate all the money to kinda like help teach people science and things, and I really like that. So I bought one, it's $500. Well worth it though, cause I help support 10,000 learners. Fantastic. So now, I'm gonna use this coin as a seal, if I can get it open. Here we go. I'm really hoping that I don't mess up this coin. My little sticky pad that I'm gonna put the hot glue on. I actually have colored hot glue for a 
applications just like this. I'm gonna use this nice blue color. I'm hoping that it turns out nice, because if it does, I can just use this on my letters and things. So then we grab our coin and just stick it face down very carefully. Oh God, did I get it stuck? No, okay, it came off. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's very dark though. Maybe it'll lighten up when it cools. Other than that, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. On to the next one. Okay, it's time to see whether highlighter will be erased by lemon juice or not. Draw a bunch of highlighter, get some lemon juice, put it on our cotton swab. I'm not sure if it only works with fresh lemon. They used a fresh lemon in theirs, but you know, it's close enough. <gasps> oh my God, that erased right away. Oh, wow. This is magic. This is actually magic. And it turned it blue? Oh, probably because it took some of the ink out of this. But, wow, okay, this is amazing. It actually works and extremely well. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, uh, we only got 10 minutes left. On to the next one. Okay guys, time is running low. So for this one, we have a dry erase marker. It just doesn't work. It's not writing. Look at that. You can see very clearly this is broken. So we're gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna take our string and just tie it. How do they do it? Oh my goodness, I forgot how they did this. Oh, this is how they did it. They just spun it up, put the string over it like that, and then they went, whoa, whoa. Woo! Okay, did that work? We're gonna find out. And... Dang, it still didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. I'll do it for the craft. I'll try and do it a little bit more off to the side this time. The important part of this is that you have one on either side. That way when you twist it together, it starts building up kinetic energy. And then when you pull it, it's going to spin! Woo! Okay, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will, okay? No! What's sad is I know this method works. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Just spinning it round and round. I think that will do it. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I think this might actually do it. No! What's sad is I've actually made this work before. It basically pushes all the ink to the top of it, but I guess this is too dead that it won't work. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that just because of this one, that it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, I have one minute left. Okay guys, it's time to have some fun hydro dipping. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill this bad boy with water. It needs to pour faster. We're running out of time. We literally only have about eight minutes left. I don't know if this is gonna work very fast. I'm gonna do my best. And then we just grab some nail polish and just start sprinkling it on the water. Yes. Maybe let's do a little bit of blue. This looks like a good blue. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna go in with our little R and just be very careful. As you can see, I bought it for $1.49, so I don't wanna mess this up. Yeah. Actually turned out pretty cool. Maybe going another round. Mm, that was a bad call. But it kind of works. It works for the most part. There's a few little spots where there's no nail polish. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Off to the next one. Okay, guys, I only have about one minute left, and we're back to this craft. We're gonna find out if when I scratch this, colors are gonna be underneath. I'm really excited to find out if this works. I hope it does, because it looked like a really fun craft. You ready? And I'm gonna write my name. My, that is so cool! I need something else. Let's just bend this fork. Ugh. Here we go. The perfect writing utensil. Just write my name. This is so cool. Epic. Can I write my name in time? S A U C E. Oh God, I'm fixing the S. Robbie Epic Sauce. And that's time, boys. Exactly one hour. And even better, guys. I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Fully recommend it. Look how fun that is. Look, you can do like a star. Wow. You can do a peace sign. I really need to get something else. I think the screwdriver will be better. Oh, that's so much better. A little peace sign. Yes. A little happy face. My two tattoos. Yes, yes. Looks good. Oh, I can do peace, love. Oh, I did Wi Fi instead. <laughs> Oops. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. Wow, this is pretty cool. Highly recommend this one. Anyway, you did a great job, Five Minute Crafts. Woo, that was quite the experiment, guys. It turns out I could do 12 crafts in one hour. That's 
it's amazing. I feel like I could do things so much more efficiently now. But on the other hand, I feel like I've already done most of this. So down in the comments down below, make sure to comment life hacks that I haven't tried before. I feel like I've done every life hack there is. So if you guys want to watch me try every life hack there is imaginable, I actually have an entire playlist of me doing them right here. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel, Robbie Clips and Robbie Vlogs. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're done. Okay, bye. Ah!